Okay, so hi guys. So today I'm going to be making a craft and I'm just going to give you a warning now. If you don't like gross like bloody stuff and it makes your stomach like you're about to throw up and like you just don't like blood, well, don't watch the whole video then because at the end there's going to be a part where I dissect a heart. Well, I dissect hearts and a lung. It's a cow heart and a pig heart and lung. So if you don't want to watch that, um, only watch it till the craft and I'll tell you when I'm going to be done with the craft. And actually, it's my Mother Day's card to my mom. And so I'm making it and I already kind of started it. So here with these, it says Happy Mother's Day and then it has a little flower. Carly's an artist. <laughs> so, so you can see what I'm doing. I might move this down a little, just a teeny. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna like outline this with paint and stuff. So, I actually, about my dissection, halfway through I felt like I was about to puke. I wanted to say something, but it was a, like, once a, like a one time opportunity that you're going to be able to look at and cut open a heart that comes from a pig even any heart unless you're going to be a doctor but you're not technically going to dissect it you're going to save the heart so anyway I actually did have fun though until the very end and then after that we went outside and then we had a couple minutes of fun because we needed a break because my teacher said that we did really good and everyone wasn't talking while the person who told us what to do was talking so she said we did a good job so she let us go outside for a few minutes and then I came here. But before this, I went to dance. And speaking of dance, tomorrow I have a dance competition. And that's what my mom's doing right now. She's getting all my stuff ready for my dance competition. It's fire and ice. If any of you dance or, yeah, dance, <laughs> um, you might know what that is. And so I'm really excited but I'm nervous at the same time because we're missing one of our dancers, so I am really excited though because I'm doing my solo and this is the last time for nationals and nationals is really hard to win at because there's lots of people. It depends on what competition you're going to. I'm going to creations for nationals, so yeah. I am really nervous. I'm only taking some of my dances, and my mom's going to record tomorrow. And the bad thing about this is that my mom has to edit this video, and I was going to make it a surprise, but now she's going to have to see it, so. And actually, my mom said she feels sick, so. That's scary. Because then. Scary. <laughs> and she said my dad had to take me to my competition. I don't like when my dad takes me because he makes me scared. <laughs> and plus, my, my dad does not know how to do makeup or anything, so kind of be a, hard for him to kind of, you know, do my makeup and my hair. I would probably have to do it by myself. Well, I have two little buddies, me and my friend, share too because, um... Her little buddy's like crazy, so we have to help her. Like, well, I mean, not crazy. She she doesn't listen, and so she couldn't handle her by herself. So I helped her, and uh, well, today they were supposed to make flowers for Mother's Day, and I was gonna make one, but you needed tissue paper. I might actually be able to make it. Yeah, I'm going to. Because we have tissue paper. It's a little flower. That's another craft I can teach you guys how. It's really fun. So there's that. 
Happy Mother's Day. If you don't realize anything, I outlined Happy Mother's Day. Okay, now I'm on the inside. And I'm going to show you how to make the flower. Well, actually, instead of having a ponytail, you're supposed to have a pipe cleaner, but I don't, I don't have any. So what you're going to do is cut the ponytail in half. If you don't have any pipe cleaners, if you do have a pipe cleaner, well, use a pipe cleaner. So what you're going to do, you're going to cut, you're going to get like the stuff, I don't know what it's called, tissue paper. Tissue paper, well, you're going to see there's sections on it and you're going to cut three sections so you make a square. And then you're going to line them all up perfectly together. Okay, and then we have that. You are going to want to fold it like this. So, you have your six pieces of paper. You're going to pick them up, and I'm going to put them on my lap so you guys can see. You're going to fold it back. It's just like how you fold a paper fan. So, you're going to fold it back. Really tiny slips, or a little bigger, like a half, a centimeter and a half. And then you're going to flip it, and then you're going to fold it this way. You're going to try that as neat as you can. Actually, I got this for my school, so... And then you're going to want to take your pipe cleaner or ponytail. And here, since I don't have any hands to hold it with, I'll put it between my feet and then you're going to take your ponytail and tie it about halfway. Don't tie it really tight because then it might ruin you. So then you're going to want to tie it around. If it's a pipe cleaner, if it's a pipe cleaner, you, you might want it to be green so it can be like the stem kind of. But like I said, I don't have any pipe cleaners. So. Once you're here, it should look like a little bow tie. Well, um, so you're gonna grab one layer of tissue paper and you're gonna pull it up. And it should be like that. So then you're going to pull up each layer individually. You don't want to pull them all up at once or it won't work. I'll show you my card to my mom in a minute, my Mother's Day card, because I didn't show you that. And then you kind of want to like smush it up together, just a little. Every time you pull up a piece, you might want to just squish it a little. And then actually, so there's what it looks like a little tiny flower. See? Flower. It's like a rose, kind of. And since there's not really much for a stem, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a colored pencil. And as you can see, you can see the little pony down there. So I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to stick it in. So there's my flower. They looked a little more better in school because they were all like, all the papers were different colors. And they weren't all the same colors, but there it is. So here's my flower and my letter. And then in here I did with stencils, I did a bunch of different stencils, which took me a while. And then I did this. I did, I don't know what they're called, where it goes. You do the M and then you go down and then you write all the things. 
Okay, so bye. That's it for today. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. This isn't really the end because after this, it's going to be the heart dissection. Do, 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 do. So, after I'm done talking, or right now, if you want to turn it off, that's okay. If you liked our, my craft today with my card and my flower, please thumbs up this video. Thank you for watching. The question of the day is, does blood gross you out and does it make you want to like go bleh? And are you making your mom a valent, not a valentine's, a mother's day gift and... Also, are you making the flower? It looks like cotton candy. So, bye. Kind of. <laughs> What's it feel like, Carly? It's slimy. It's it's weird. dissect a heart and lungs. I don't know why one's only one side. Here's another hole. Here's the lung. Basically you can't ever speak about the feeling. Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh. I don't blow it up okay, don't blow it up anymore. It's like a mouth. Okay, no, undo it. Undo it. If you were a surgeon, your patient would be dead. <laughs> Watch your fingers. <laughs> Hopefully you're not doing surgery on me so. <laughs>